Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to get OpenWRT on, installed on Proxmox working and pinging the internet. Um, I did a video uh, uh, just last on getting it uh, installed on Proxmox, get it working, get the web UI up, but you'll, you'll notice if you ping the internet, it won't work. So in this video, we're going to get it working, and, uh, and a little about the series is I'm going over home lab, so I'm going over installing things, getting things running, everything like that. So different software. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I'm going to start off where I left off, and um, I'm going to go to my con console my OpenWRT then console, press the return or enter to get the prompt to show up. But uh, if you try to do something like ping, a, ping a, a, a public DNS, like Cloudflare, it will say network unreachable. And uh, if you try to go a little further and try to see if uh, the DNS is working, it says refused. So, if it, if the issue is you can connect to your IP address, that means uh, that your gateway is working. If it can't connect to the IP address, that means your gateway is not working. It's not set up. So, if your IP address is working and it's pinging the internet, and then this NS lookup doesn't work, that means you have a DNS issue and it can't translate the domain into an IP address. So... Uh, just a little tip. So I'm going to um, go and get this all set up and I'm going to first get it to where it's pinging the IP address and then I'll get it where it's, ping uh, it, it, it's able to look up the DNS. So I'll start out on the UI of the open uh, WRT and if you don't know how to get the UI you just go to the IP address and you can get the IP address if you go into your open uh, WRT and then you go to your console and then you just type in IP uh, uh, space and then address and then you'll be able to see it. It's in there. So you will go to the login right here. And since we're going to get the IP address to where you can ping it, I'm going to go up to network interfaces right here. You're, you're going to see network bridge configuration mi migration. So it, it's going to change our configuration file into where it's actually going to work. So, um, I'm going to continue and then configuration changes applied. I'm going to continue again. Okay. Configuration changes applied. Okay. Now you can see that we have a LEN up and, um, you're going to go into ed edit it right here and you're going to go down to IPv4 gateway. You're going to put your router's IP address in, and then you're going to um, uh, press save right here, and then save and apply, and then apply changes. It's applying the changes. So once those changes are applied, like I said, I'm going to get the IP address to where you can ping it. So... I'm going to go into my OpenWRT uh, VM co console, and then now I'm going to try to ping the IP address of Cloudflare. Okay, you can see it is working, and it's now pinging. So I'm going to stop that with control uh, a V, or C, I mean. And um, so, now if you do NS lookup... Um, too big of our tech world. Okay, you can see that uh, it is refused and it's going on the local host right here and port 53. So, like I said, we got the IP address working. Now we need to get the translation of the domains working, the DNS. So, uh, what this is doing is it's translating bigbeartechworld.com into actually the IP address of wherever the server is with the the IP address here and then it's going to port 53 and that's normally a DNS server. So 
Now I'm going to get this working and get it to where you can translate the domains. So now we got the IP address pinging. So um, it, it is connecting to our gateway now. So I'm going to start on the home page. I'm going to interfaces. And then I'm going to go to my LEN right here. I'm going to go to edit. Then I'm going to uh, go to advanced. Use custom DNS servers. I'm going to put a DNS server that I have in. So, and then I'm going to save. And then I'm going to save and apply. Then configurations are saved now. So we can go back over to Proxmox and see if it's working. So now we're going to just test and see if the IP address and the domain resolution works. So I'm going to go into my uh, OpenWRT, my VM. I'm going to go to console. Then I'm going to type up here ping 1.1.1. And then you can see it is pinging still. So it is having a successful connection to our gateway now. So I'm going to do control C. Then now I'm going to do NS lookup. So now you can see it is uh, resolving our domain to an IP address. So it's resolving to the IP addresses here and IPv6. So we got the IP, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the pinging working uh, to ping the internet. And then I'm, what we, we have the NS lookup working on pinging, uh, on getting the domain's uh, IP address. So our DNS is working. So it's using our uh, a local, and then it's going to 53 port, and then that's going to go over to our upstream servers uh, that I have, that our, our DNS servers are on there. So it's going to those, and it's just proxying it to those and, and using uh, the local side of the open WRT. So we got everything working, and then now you can update your packages and get your software started on open uh, WRT. So now that we got uh, the open WRT to where it can connect to the internet now, so we can go up to system and software, and then now you can update the list of packages. This could take a bit uh, because it's pulling all the packages and there you go, it's all passed and we should be able to see packages now. So we got the network running and it's all up and running and it can connect to internet now and you can now install packages if you'd like. So I just showed you how to get OpenWRT connected to the internet working. It, it can ping the IP addresses, it can ping the domains, it can translate the domains into IP addresses with the DNS uh, uh, servers. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions, uh, comment down below or join the Big Bear community. And if you need support or if you have any questions, join the Big Bear community and I'll be glad to help you as much as possible. So stay tuned for more.